Film Festival has often come under criticism for not selecting enough films by women for its prestigious competition lineup. Only two female filmmakers have ever won the Palme d'Or. This year, there are six films by women in the running, out of a total of 19. It's a new high, but still far from equal, much like the industry itself. In front of the camera, men and women share the screen time rather equally, although there is an issue with power dynamics, as revealed by the Me Too campaign. But behind the scenes, only 25% of roles go to women. That's something a new studio is trying to address. All six of the first feature films from Catalyst Studios are led by women. It was very important to us to provide these opportunities to gain experience for women um, and also other populations. We have a non-binary filmmaker for one of them as well. Um, so this is, these are the top leadership positions for the production, the director and the, and the lead producer. Um, and so at that point then, it becomes a collaboration for who else is joining the team. And, um, you know, there were, I, I was very excited that we had several productions that hired female director of photography um, and other key positions. Um, but really, we, we took control of, of the leadership, the top leadership positions, and then let them have more autonomy in figuring out their team. It's a step in the right direction in an industry which has been dominated by men for decades. There are now initiatives to balance that scale, including a 50-50 approach to crewing. I believe that for so many decades um, there have been so many more male uh, gendered people getting funding and getting their films produced that we definitely have to have at least 50-50, if not even going a little bit 60-40, so that females could get a more fair playing field. Sarah Lamberg is a filmmaker who screens all of her productions at Cannes, but she says she still has problems being taken seriously. Even where I live, I haven't been able to get any of my films to the Melbourne International Film Festival, although they've all screened here in Cannes. Why ever that is, is beyond me. I, I don't know. Um, and these are the kind of things that people don't talk about loud. You never know why the glass ceiling is there, but you can definitely feel it. The importance of having women in senior positions in productions was highlighted in Australia, where one woman fought to have childcare costed into the budget. To be given money is to be taken seriously. And I think we've experienced that in so many different ways. And, and it's not just about um, enabling you to pay people properly and enabling you to not to have to work a terrible day job to fund your films so you can become better faster. It's also the, sim the um, symbolism of it. And if things are bad for women in general, women of colour face even more challenges. Unfortunately, there still has been a lot of systemic racism um, and a lot of unconscious bias as well. And I think, additionally, a lot of the time we tend to work with people that we know and we tend to work with people within our communities and within our existing networks. And sometimes that means that we don't look outside of those networks to think about other people that we could bring into them. And so if you live in an area or the community that you're in is very heavily white dominated, maybe you won't even think to include someone who's not of that same ethnicity. Um, but I think that consciously talking about it and thinking about it and when we sit down and look at our teams, looking at them as a tapestry as a whole and looking at it and saying is this a rich diverse tapestry can really help to support ensuring we actually get them on set and obviously we we want to work with people that we already know but we need to get to know those people so we need to branch out and start meeting with them and connecting with them. The film industry is moving in the right direction. There are initiatives to be more inclusive not just for women but all underrepresented populations.
I think we cannot underestimate kindness. Um, it seems so easy and like common sense, but I think we've gotten away from it as a community. If we just treat everyone with dignity and respect and keep that up to the forefront, I think we can go a long way.